What's that? Empty workbench. Nah. Okay. Hey guys, it's Eric from uh, Reload1.com. Um, today, what I'm going to tell you about is... Boom. That guy right there. I know this is your... Uh, not your typical uh, gun review, but I wanted to tell you about this thing. Um, I've been needing a Dremel for a long time. Rotary tool, let's call it that. And when I started looking around at the uh, Dremels, those suckers start at $42 for basically just the body and you get a couple of tips. And it's not terrible, but I'm kind of cheap. So uh, I looked around a little bit farther and I found this thing. It's made by Wen, um, Chinese of course, but the thing has been outstanding for me. Uh, one of the things that really uh, I liked about this one was not only do you get the whole kit, the the, the main body, and it goes from uh, 8,000 to 30,000 RPM, so it'll cut through. I mean, a ton of it, you know anything. I usually uh, use it to cut uh, plastic and uh, aluminum, and it does great. But you get this cool, uh, flexible shaft here. Which if that doesn't come off, with the little kind of stylus end on the bottom and this thing makes it so handy to get in and do your work um, and I've, I've used it a ton since I got it uh, so yeah you could go ahead and buy a Dremel for $42 or just to buy the body and a couple of bits alone on Amazon is 13 bucks to get the kit with the uh, flexible shaft here and all the bits seventeen dollars and a few pennies I mean you can't go wrong you can't beat it for the price for what this thing is um, and I, I literally I just have it mounted there um, and you know turn it on from the flick switch here on the bottom the speed is uh, variable right here just with a, uh, a rotating little knob in there and uh, I mean this thing has just been outstanding and you can see I'm still on this first grinding wheel this little uh, sandpaper pad and the thing is just absolutely outstanding they give you I think it's a total of a hundred different parts so you have some sanding discs you have some cut off discs in here you have a couple of like engraving tools that are in here um, they give you of course the you know the wrench to tighten everything down this little guy is not an allen but you actually stick it in uh, in this hole right here to lock that head while you're tightening it down with the wrench and then for uh, the cutoff which I've been using a lot that's just plastic uh, that's been kinda melted on there but so for that then it has the included uh, little flat tip screwdriver here let's see if we can yeah so you can you know tighten those things down but this thing has been amazing um, I had gone ahead let me get uh, this guy back in here I had gone ahead and stippled my uh, entire canic and what I did not like about it was uh, after I had done it I really didn't like it in um, the uh, forefinger groove here, your pointer finger, and then the reverse side with the uh, where your thumb goes. So I just used this bit right here and smoothed it back out. And man, it, it's 100% more comfortable. I love this gun anyway. You know that. This, I'm a huge fan of these things. Um, but yeah, so this is great now. This uh, just smoothing that back out. Oh, the other thing that I did too was I opened up around the. Uh, magazine eject button um, just to make it a little more usable for me uh, I have pretty big hands so being able to reach it uh, just from this way instead of having to come up and depress like that it worked out very well for me so that's uh, that was one of the first projects that I used this thing for let me hang this back up and then uh, just a couple nights ago what I did was uh, you guys know I am a Strike Industries fanboy, but one of the things I did not like. Ooh, well, here, let's go over a couple things real quick. Uh, 
and this this is uh, more strike awesome uh, you know strike industries awesomeness I ended up buying this um, they've sent me a couple of parts but I want you guys to know that uh, they don't send me uh, everything you know they send me some stuff to review so like the uh, installation video I did on the uh, strike switch which I love um, but I, I wound up buying this this is their uh, triple comp um, this thing is outstanding so far as well uh, just really really thrilled with that I still have the uh, Odin Atlas 5 but that's going on the pistol that I'm building <coughs> excuse me and then just today uh, this is this came in the mail this is the uh, black spider optics 3 MOA uh, red dot uh, this this is an offshoot of um, Oh, I want to say oh, Spikes Tactical. So, really impressed with this thing so far. One of the greatest features for me is that it doesn't have stinking logos all over the place. I really hate that. And it's a real nice flat black finish, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, so what I was getting at is uh, last night, um, I love this Viper stock. These things are outstanding. But one of the things that always bugged me is it had, I'll inset a little picture here somewhere, down here, over here, I don't know. But that little nub that's stuck down here, I'm sure it has some kind of function. And if you guys want to tell me what that is, feel free. But I never liked it. I didn't really see a use for it. So I just cut that sucker off using, uh, using that rotary tool. And it came off in probably... I don't know, two minutes, and then just with the uh, grinding wheel, the sanding wheel, I just sanded it all back down smooth. I was a little worried that this would be hollow inside, and uh, I may have, you know, I was, if that was the, the case, my plan was to leave the bottom a little bit longer, cut down from the top, leave the bottom a little bit longer, and then heat it up, and then mold it back into place, and, uh, you know, just either glue it or reseal it however I could, but this thing is solid, so um, I'm pretty happy overall with this. Uh, I need to finish sanding it here. Um, I need to go get some finer sandpaper to do that, but uh, oh, one last trick with this stuff too. If you guys are working with plastic, uh, you know oftentimes when you cut it or when you grind it, especially like that, uh, that it starts to get uh, like that gray kind of film on there uh, it just doesn't look very good one of the things that I found and actually uh, Lisa uh, who you could probably know from this site she recommended was coconut oil believe it or not of all things you know it's natural um, but it really does do the trick of turning this plastic right back to jet black so I did that just a little bit and it's looking pretty good I'm gonna have to sand it again like I said but just rub a little bit of coconut oil on there and then dry it off and it goes right back to jet black and best part is you're not using another chemical you know we use enough chemicals on all this crap so you know it's not going to be harmful to you but so I really like the look of that now I think that's turned out really sharp uh, straight guys unless you know give me an explanation of what that little nub was for was, I mean, was it to hang off of trees or something? I don't know. Anyway, but, so, uh, there's a link on the website because uh, I linked it to our Amazon store. You know, we get uh, a whopping 17 cents a piece from these if you guys order using uh, our, uh, our checkout link. But uh, I just wanted to tell you about it. I mean, the thing is absolutely outstanding. It sounds just like a Dremel. It works just as well as a Dremel and it's seventeen dollars and if you do any of this kind of crap in your uh in your shop sooner or later you're gonna need a rotary tool and that little sucker is awesome so just a quick tip today and i will talk to you guys later bye